Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Mr. Morning. Mr. Morning. Hands down, eyes on the board. So we did an introduction on Pythagoras' theorem, and we used Pythagoras to find the length of the hypotenuse in a triangle. Can we find the length of another side that's not the hypotenuse, so one of the shorter sides? Can we find the length using Pythagoras? Yes, yes, yes. we can. As long as we've been given two sides in a right angled triangle, we can find the length of the missing side. So let's start with Pythagoras' theorem. Uh, which side do we label first? Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. So isn't that the side opposite to the 90 degree angle? Yes. yes. And we label that as F C. C. Yes, and the other two are A, A and B. B. So what was the relationship that Pythagoras came up with? That C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Plus B squared. Thank you. Well done. Shh. Just quiet. Now, we used this formula to find the length of the missing side when hypotenuse was the missing side. So now we're going to rearrange this to make one of the shorter sides the subject. Making subject means we need to have A squared equals. Okay? Now, we've done rearranging equations in your A. So if I need to bring B squared to the other side, can I take away B squared from this side? Yes. I must do the same to the other. So can I take away B squared from both sides? Yes. What do we get? C squared take away B squared equals A squared. Or I can write A squared equals C squared minus B squared. So this is how you find the length of the shorter side. If you label your missing side as A, you can use this rearranged formula to find the shorter side. Let's actually use it now. Can I label this? Ask me go and stop talking, please. Is this C? Yes. Is that the unknown side? No. 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 Which one's the unknown? A. So what should I label my unknown as? A. A. Now, our unknown side is A. So I'm going to write this rearranged version of the Pythagoras. So I'm going to write A squared equals C squared minus B squared. Then, sub in the numbers. A is P. What's C? Seven. What's B? Four squared. What's seven squared? Forty-nine. What's four squared? Sixteen. What's forty-nine take away sixteen? Thirty-two. Seven meters. We haven't calculated P yet. Now, if P squared is thirty-three, what would P be equal to? What's opposite of squaring? Square root. Square root. Square root. Square root. Can I square root both sides? Yes. So what will I get? P equals what units? Centimeters. Now, do I convert it into a decimal? No, no because I am allergic to, allergic to them. <laughs> and if you put them on, you lose marks. You are not supposed to. You're not supposed to talk while I'm talking, and you're not supposed to give a decimal answer unless the question asks for it. Is that clear? Yes. So will you leave any length in centimeters? Uh, decimals? No. No. You must leave it in exact form. What exact forms are there? So third is an exact form. What other forms are exact? Fractions. fractions. So fractions and thirds are fine. No decimals unless asked for. Is that clear? Yeah. That's it. Copy. 